the San Francisco Hall of Justice, high drama is in the making as police officials brief the press in one of the best kept secrets in modern journalism. The kidnapping of wealthy real estate man Leonard Moskowitz. For 60 hours, they are kept abreast of developments and ads inserted by the family of the kidnapped victim. Newspapers, newsreels, and radio men keep silent as they are shown letters from Moskowitz pleading for ransom. First break in the case came when Officer O'Connell found the victim's abandoned car, tracing it to a public garage. Brought to headquarters, it is minutely examined for fingerprints. Shortly thereafter, one of the kidnappers was trapped in a phone booth while calling the family. Now the story can be told as Moskowitz is reunited with his wife after 64 hours of captivity. Harold Jackson left and Joe Lear, who demanded $300,000 ransom, were captured by detectives Al Nieder and George Murray, who found Moskowitz in a house where he had been chained to a bed and partially doped with sleeping pills. The horrors of threats of mutilation are over as he is reunited with a jubilant press, as well as his wife, father, and twin brother, a well-kept secret that may have saved a life.